Okay, children, now we have to do adding more the numbers. Okay, for example, we can take it here. 3 and 4 more the numbers. Three and four. This is the question. Okay. Three and four is the question. Then we have to do one a number. How, then first we have to reach at three. Three is the starting point. Okay. Then we have to the four times we have to forward. Four times we have to jump. Just we can check it here. How first three numbers are given here. Then we have to reach three here. Then four times. Four times we have to jump. Forward one. 2, 3, 4. Then we got the answer 7. Then what is the answer is there? Then 3 plus 4 equal 7. We got the answer is 7. Okay, then one more example I will show. Okay, let us start one, one more example. 2 and 6 on the number line. Question 2 and 6 on the number line. Just we have to reach at the two first. Two starting number, starting with the first number, two. Then we have to reach here one, two. Then six time we have to jump. Six time. Then we can jump it here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got the answer. Eight. Then we have the we got the answer is two plus. 6 equal 8. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, children, come back to next topic. We have to do adding by counting forward. Addition. In a different way, we have to do adding addition by counting forward. Then we have to do 8 plus 1 equal 8 plus 1. That we have to do 8 in the mind. Okay, 8 in the mind. Then 1 in the middle. 8 in the mind, 1 in the middle. After 8, 9. We go the answer is 9. 9. Then one more example. I will show one more example. Second question. 5 plus 3. Okay. Always we have to keep that big number always in the mind. Okay. We have to do big numbers in the mind. Then we can do that 5 in the mind. 3 in the finger. Once again, 5 in the mind. 3 in the finger. After 5, 6, 7, 8. We got the answer is 8. For example, one more example I will show you children. 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3. Okay, then we have to keep this 4. 4 in the mind. 3 in the finger. Then after 4, 5, 6, 7. We got the answer is 7. This is the answer. Okay, next we have to discuss properties of addition. What is that you are doing here? Properties of addition. Three properties are there. Okay, first we have to discuss. First, 2 plus 0. 2 plus 0. Then, for example... 2 plus 0. Then adding 0 to a number that gives same number. Adding 0 to a number that gives same number. Suppose we have to add 2 plus 0. 2 is here. 2 I am taking. This is taking 2 fingers is here. And 0 in this finger. In this hand. Okay. Then we can count it. In the here in the right hand nothing is there. We can count 1, 2 only. Then 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. Okay. Next. Then next uh, second question. 3 plus 0. 3 plus 0. 3. Then third question. 10 plus 0. Is equal to 10. Okay. The next property of addition is next point. Second point is that if a number is added by a one number, one number. If a number is added by a one one that answer should be the terms after number. Okay, children. Next we can go to properties of addition of the second properties. Then adding one to a number that gives the number comes after. 
just we can take it as two plus one equal to two plus one. And two in this finger of your hand, and we can take it one is here. Then one, two, three. We got the answer is three. If you add it. By your by any number as a one, then we will get the next number. Next number means two. Two plus one means here. Then two means next to after number means three. Two after three. Next one one example. Uh, three plus one. Three plus one. Then we can take it. Three plus one is uh, four. This number after number is four. Okay. Let us discuss the third property of addition. We can discuss third properties of addition. That two numbers can be added in a, any order. The answer remains the same. We can add two plus three equal to two here. We can take two and three is here. Okay. Then we can add together one, two, three, four, five. Answer is five. Then next is same way we can do this. Three is here. Three plus two. That means if a number is added in any order, then we can get the answer is same. Then we can add first. We can take it three here. Three plus two. Then one, two, three, four, five. Answer should be remain same. This is the answer. Then the answer is same. Then we can change the. Uh, question sir, two plus three is here. The three comes to here first, and two is here. Then anyway we are adding, but the answer should be same. That is the these are the three properties of addition. Children, let us do this fill in the boxes. Okay, we can do with this properties of addition. How we are adding these numbers? We can check here nine. Nine is here. Nine plus dash is equal to nine. Okay, then which number we will add with this nine? Then we got the answer as nine. Then we we know that if we add it with zero, then we will get the same answer. Okay, nine plus zero, nine plus zero is equal to nine. Next, five plus one, five plus one. That one we are adding with five. Then we know that that next number we should get. Okay, then five plus one, six. Six. Then uh, here is one question is given here. Two plus six. Two plus six. That's uh, next side also. We can take it here. Two is here and two also here. Six is here. There is no six. Then we can add here six. Okay. Next year we can do here. Here is a one question. Four plus five. And here is the box is given here. At the middle of the box is given here. Then we can check it that year. Four plus five and five plus four. We know that uh, both same question. Here also same question. Then we can do here equal. The next uh, one topic mental maths. Mental maths that we have to do in our mind only. Okay, we can't do anything from our hand or anything. What is the sum of one and three? Okay, that we will get it. If we are adding it there. One that the numbers next number we will get. Then one and three means one plus three. One plus three is equal to one plus three. We can take it one and three is here. Then what is the sum? One, two, three, four. So children, hope you all understood. We can see next class. Thank you.